five criteria will decide which tier an area goes into. Analysis of COVID cases across all age groups, but particularly among the over 60s. The R number, which is the rate at which people infect others. The number of cases per 100,000 and the current and projected pressures on the NHS. But this public health expert thinks it's the wrong strategy. The discussion of tears at the moment is quite premature. At the moment, the government have given us no confidence that contact tracing is working as robustly as it should be. With an economy based on small businesses, manufacturing and aviation, Luton was in the top 10 for the number of furloughed workers. So imposing the strictest measures here will hit this community hard. But others say the alternative is even more dangerous. Hospital doctors here are once again feeling the strain. We are struggling for beds at the moment. The wards are pretty full. Um, it, I don't think it's as bad as it was in April, but you know we don't want to get into that situation again, particularly when we have the winter pressures to deal with on top of the COVID patients. Balancing the desire for freedom against the risks won't be easy. We should find out tomorrow. Rebecca Barry, News at 10, Luton.